is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed introduction to file handling. And uh, we had find out that uh, uh, the file operations, there are around five. And uh, uh, the first file operation was uh, how to create up a new file. Uh, the second one was how to open up a file. The third one was uh, actually how to close up a file. And the fourth one was how to read up a file. And the fifth one was how to write into a file. And in today's lesson, we are moving on to ask ourselves what are the file operation modes. And uh, we are going on to that particular journey to define uh, what, is an, uh, what is a mode in a file operation what are the type of this uh, file operation modes and then finally we are going to finish up this particular session by implementing it uh, into C programming. So let us start on that particular journey. So uh, what is actually a file uh, 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 a file mode? So I say a file mode actually defines the purpose of opening up a file. So it defines a purpose why do we want up to open up a file so you define up a purpose uh, of how to open up a file and actually there are around six type of modes for the text file from the text file and also we have another six for binary files and they are implemented basically using what we call uh, the file open uh, function, which is an inbuilt function. So they are going to be implemented by the file open function. So basically, now that takes us to the type of uh, actually uh, the file modes. So the type of file modes, basically, we can actually conspecialize them into uh, a table so we'll have up a table here and in that particular table we are going to have all our modes here so here basically we'll have our numbers and here we'll have our mode and here we'll have up the meaning and basically finally we are going to have the output So we'll have them in that particular order and uh, let's see one by one what does it mean. So the first one, uh, the file mode is R. In that one, we are saying it actually opens up uh, a text file on a reading mode. So it opens a text file in reading mode. And what will be the output? Basically, the output it is if the file exists, then it's going actually to read that particular file. If not, it's going to give us the null, the null value. So that is actually the first one. Let's go on to the second one. The second one basically is what you call w and it opens up the text file into the write mode and if it exists if it exists basically it's going to overwrite the content if not, it will create up a new one. So that is the second part. Let's go on on the third part of it. The third part of it is A and it opens up
the text file into an append mode. An append mode is whereby it's going to append uh, data at the end of a file. And if it exists, it appends. If not, creates a new one. So that is the third part. The fourth one is what we call the R plus. This one actually opens a text uh, a text file both for reading and writing. If it exists, if actually it exists, it uh, actually reads and overwrites the content. And if not, it creates one. And then from there, we move on to the fifth part, that is WT, it both us again, read and write. If it exists, if actually uh, it exists, it read and overwrites. If not, creates one. And then the last one, the sixth one is A plus, and that particular A plus, what does it do? It actually reads and append. And if it exists, it read and append. Now, if not, basically creates one. So basically, this is these are the basic modes which are found. However, the six modes for the binary file is whereby we just add up a B here and 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 a B here, a B here. while the explanation actually remains the same as they are. So that actually makes us, uh, they are actually 12 modes, 6 for text file and 6 for binary file. So let us go now to dev C++ and try to implement actually the same. We are going to take one of these particular modes and basically we are going to take up uh, the first one that is the read mode actually to implement the same. So in dev C++ here we are going actually to have uh, our pointer of the data type file so that will be file and we'll have the file pointer and then we are going to have uh, an array of characters so we've got up a data and we'll give it around 50 and then basically uh, according to the syntax so our our pointer fp not ff our pointer our pointer fp we are going to assign it to the file open and uh, already we have got a, a file which we have already created into C program so so I'll just say my C and I put it in a folder called C program in that particular folder C program and that uh, file name is called text test.txt and uh, we are going to open it up in one of the modes and our mode basically here we are saying we are going to open it up in a read mode so basically uh, that 
will actually implement that but however we have to check if if our pointer if our pointer equals to null if our pointer equals to null basically what are we doing if our pointer equals to null we're supposed to do something so just say we are going to print print f and tell the user that the file the file is not open so just tell the user the file is not open and after that we are putting up the else statement so from there we will have our else and in our else statement we are going to put up some logic putting up another one print f and basically you are telling up the user the file is now open and we terminate there basically and we continue now to do other things we are putting up a while loop we are saying if we are putting up a while loop and in that particular while loop we are using up gets but this is a file gets so f gets and f gets takes up three parameter uh, basically it takes up our data that is an our array, our array and it takes up our size which is 50 and it takes up uh, our pointer which is fb so while while our uh, uh, while we are reading up our data is not equal to null is not equal to null then we are supposed to do what then we are supposed to do this and that is actually printing so we are just saying print f what are we printing we are printing now that we are reading up the file so print and say now reading the file and we'll have our data type that is percentage s and we are passing up our data so we are passing up our data here so basically we'll go on to read whatever it is written in that particular file and then after that it's good practice just to close using up f close one of the function what are we closing we are closing up uh, our pointer fb and then we want to output another printf basically printf we are telling uh, the user that uh, the file is now closed so basically that uh, will be our program to do that so let's go before actually we can start and see actually our file so this is our file it's called text.txt and it is actually uh, into uh, a folder called c program in c uh, in c in drive c so when you open up this particular file basically the content is read hi my name is abdul rahman my name is Abdul Rahman. So let us run and see if this particular uh, uh, code can read that particular file and display it uh, to us. So when we run this particular program, actually, yes, actually it has, it has read that particular file. And uh, these are the messages. The file is now open. Reading up the file. 
hi my name is abrahman and that is what we we saw inside the file and the file and then finally tells up the file is now closed so basically this is the demonstration which we have seen into devc plus plus on the types of modes in our next session we are going to talk about opening up a, a file and on that particular note this makes up the end of this particular session until into our next session for now i say bye